If you're under five years in the business, you wanna learn how these two did 122 transactions the first three years in the business, watch the show. Hey, welcome to the Tom Ferry Show. Today, I'm speaking directly to agents that are less than five years in the business who have the desire to become exceptional. So if you're watching this right now and your desire is to take your business from two or five or seven transactions and get to 87 transactions, 66 transactions, I say that right? This is what the show is all about. So let's start by just some introductions and tell them who you are, where you're from, how many homes that you, they now know, and, uh, and how long in the business. Uh, Ann Schreiber, Schreiber team from San Diego, California, North County, and last year we sold 63, this year we're on target for 100. Congratulations. Six years in the business? Yes. Unbelievable. Awesome. Jeremy? Jeremy Cady, I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I have a team in Atlanta and I have an expansion team in Jacksonville, Florida. We are completing our fourth year and we're on track to do 120 transactions this year. And. Um, are smiling and having fun. All right, so now as you're watching this, I don't want you to get overwhelmed. I actually asked these two specifically to be a part of this show to talk about the tactics. So whether you're watching this, you could be 20 years in the business and looking for a little reset, or you're just coming into the real estate industry, you're four or five years in, how do we really do it right? So, so I wanted to start with, if you were starting over today, knowing what you know now, what would you have done differently? Either one of you. I think for me, um, I hired a coach very quickly when we got into the process, which I believe is probably one of the greatest decisions that I made. I didn't even know the magnitude of the decision at that point. But looking back, I would have stayed very consistent. I consistent had, with what? I, my coach and I, we really came up with basically pillars and business plans of where our leads were going to come from. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but when, and I think a new agent can probably relate to this, when you don't see results in 90 days, you, you run this way. Yeah. And then you try to run I this way. I tried this and I tried Absolutely. that and I tried this. So if, if to answer that question, looking back, I would have stayed extremely consistent for a minimum of nine months, maybe a year, on levers that we said, whether you're buying leads, whether it's for sale by owners, whether it's expired, whatever you're getting your business your, your from past in the plan. Past sphere, open houses, knocking on doors. Yeah, I don't care if you're freaking out, stay consistent because it'll work. The show could stop right there if everyone just did that. <laughs> Think about it, I mean, the number of people I talked to, I tried this and it didn't work. Right. I knocked on doors once, I tried an open house, no one showed up. Well, no, like you've got to do it 30, 40, 50, 60, society. 80 times, and then you start to get some data. So, and what so, would you say? Looking uh, back six years ago, which was like yesterday. Well, I did the same. I joined coaching really quickly, which had a profound impact, mm -hmm. mostly financially, because we didn't have any money. We had no money. when. Okay, speak to that. Uh, well, it's really an ex super expensive business, and if you have no money, you have to be very creative. So at my first summit, mm -hmm. when I was there, you were, and you still do this, and it still matters, you were like, here's your, here's your first commission check. This amount goes here, this amount goes here, this amount goes there. You've seen this on the Tom Ferry Show. And, yep. and when you have savings, and you manage your money correctly, you can make different business decisions. You don't yes. have commission breath, you're not panicked, you're yeah. not, like it drives so many things when you have money in the bank. Yes. You can make better decisions than, ah, I have yeah. to close this deal. Mm -hmm. um, so that, and also, you know, organizing your database, I would have gotten an accountant a lot sooner, I would have had a bank account a lot sooner, I would have had a credit card a lot sooner, all like, for like the business. Business accounts, yes. yes. Yeah, I would have separated yes. it. I didn't separate it from all my personal stuff for about 18 months, and so, that was a mistake. Let me intervene on both of you really fast. I think the vast majority of people that get into the real estate business think they're work. getting into selling houses. Yeah. Yes. As if it was like this, like I sell cell phones and I sell houses, right? right? People that sell cell phones aren't running a business, right? Right. They're a salesperson, you walk in and you say, I want that phone. Punch in, punch out. Talk about like starting a business, like share with them, what does it mean to start a business? What should, what should they be focusing on if they're watching this, if they're not incorporated as an example, what should they do? Well, you have to have a business plan, which I was lucky enough to have my, both you and my sales mm -hmm. manager ask me to do. Um, and you know, when you're an entrepreneur, you, you look at the world differently. You wake up and you know you're unemployed every day and you have to go find business. That's very different than I'm gonna go sell. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I don't know if that helps, but. Yes, so starting with the business plan, which yes. you got hit kind of two different ways, Yes. and you're an entrepreneur, if you don't kill, you don't eat. No, 100%. Yeah. so running a business, 
starting from the beginning? I think one of the biggest things that happened to me is I was introduced to the network of people. Mm -hmm. And I, one of my favorite things says, um, if you sit with winners, the conversation's different. Yeah. And so from the very beginning, I, I very intentionally sought out the help of people that had yeah. been in the business 15 years, had reinvented themselves, fallen, gone down, or whatever, mm -hmm. and I just gleaned knowledge and said, how do you do this? How do you do that? Yeah. How do you do this? And in this space, I mean, real estate agents, um, we all like to share, we like to talk, we like mm -hmm. to go back and forth, and the value of that allowed me to basically wrap my head around that my business is not a hobby. It's just not a hobby. I mean, yeah, I can go sell houses, and you can sell three or four houses and five houses, that can be a hobby, that's a cool hobby. But if you actually want a business, if you actually want something you can transfer to your family or change your family tree or, or have something you feel passionate about, yeah. it's gonna have to be business. So what is a business? It takes time, it mm -hmm. takes a plan. Mm -hmm. But I believe mentors are yep. huge. Yep. And, and having it, it ex changed my world. Exposure, right? and, and, and anyone, any new agent could literally plug into any ecosystem, yours mainly, yes. Yes. and just say, hey, you've sold 372 houses, can I just come buy you coffee yes. for two hours and just, I'll, I'll wash your car. But what if, <laughs> tell me how you did it. But what if they say no? Well, then go pick the next one. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right? Because so many of us, we get, we get stuck in the no, and I'm like, well, that's what's going to kill you yeah. in every area of your business right. if you get the no and you stop. Why wait five right. years to make the mistakes? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. In the beginning. Mindset, accountability, all that stuff is Huge. just gigantic being a business owner. And you have to talk with other business owners and study success and fill your mind, right? Yes. With, with yes. all of how to handle no. So, so let's talk about a daily schedule. Let's get really granular. So it's year one in real estate. How many homes did you sell year one? 61. Okay, so 61, and we kind of talk about it. I know, that drives you nuts, I know. But now you gotta remember, he also came from running a business and he was used to a certain lifestyle, which we can talk about in a minute. So, so Ann, how many homes did you sell in year one? Five. Five. <laughs> This is perfect, <laughs> it right? Is. Perfect. How'd you do in, sec in year two? 15. 15. Uh, I think that'd be called 3X. What'd you do in the next year? 36. Okay. Hello. That's there called exponential that's, that's exponential growth. growth. So let's talk about maybe at 15 transactions and 36 transactions. What did your schedule look like and what did your schedule look like year one? Let's go ladies first. Can you, can you process that real quick? Year like, one? I don't think year one's anything we would want to replicate. No. So let's talk about <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about when you did 15 transactions in 36. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have a schedule. You're running a business. You show up. You get up. You you know, I am an athlete, so I get up. I exercise. I fill my mind with something positive, even if even if it's just reading for mm -hmm. five minutes. Write everything I'm grateful for. Send it to my real estate coach, um, and just that act alone. Um, honestly, like I can track in, on the dates on my gratitude journal when I'm not doing it and what happens with my business. So yeah. that's a huge thing for me. And then showing up, prospecting for an hour, doing all of the things that drive business to you. Okay, you just, you just talked about one of the, like morning routine, she prospecting. So yeah, I mean, you, if, if, if everyone watching just shut it off and just said, I'm gonna do that for the rest of my life, yeah. they would retire from real estate. They would be just fine. But, but break it down for me. Who were you prospecting? Uh, my sphere uh, initially, because mm -hmm. that's all I had, because yes. um, I didn't have past clients or they had just bought their house. Yeah, um, all five and that, of them. Yeah, all five of them. Um, so database, also Facebook, book, uh, Facebook groups. I was running a smaller business, but I was really influential inside Facebook groups and that really helped me. So social media was huge. Just being of service, service mm -hmm. servant's heart. Yes, so, so talk to us about what you said to people in year two and year three. You, I'm in your sphere. Right, and you, you call me. We have we have contacts, kids, life, whatever. You're an athlete, I'm an athlete. Yeah. Ring, 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 hello. Hey Tom, how are you doing? Is this Ann? This is Ann Schreiber. Oh my God, Ann, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm doing outstanding, what's going on? Well, I don't know if you've been seeing online, I know we're friends on Facebook, and yeah. I, I've made a big change for my family, uh, and we're, I've started a real estate company, and we're selling real estate now. I just wanted to be sure you were aware of that. Congratulations. Thank you very that, okay, much. Okay, so I gotta be honest, Like, is everyone in San Diego now in real estate? Well, it wasn't then, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you know me, we've had a good history together. You of know course. that everything I go after, I, I go after with a, a thousand percent. And yes. I just want to be your trusted advisor in real estate. Um, I've invested a lot of time, energy, and money. I'm coached by one of the top coaching companies and the, the top coaching mm -hmm. company in the world for real estate. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I'm exposed to all kinds of information that could be of great use to you, whether that's, you know, whether you want to refinance your home or you're looking into what you want to renovate. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I meet and intersect clients every single day. And if you're thinking about doing a kitchen remodel, you want to talk to a real estate agent before you, before okay, you I do stop. that. So if you're watching this right now, 
If that was in year two, and she's coming out of the gate, you can hear her passion, you can hear her confidence, <laughs> and obviously you've been doing this now for uh, an illustrious six years, <laughs> But when you say those kinds of things, it, it, it fires up the person on the other end. Mm -hmm. So did you, what were some of the objections you got early? Uh, okay, thanks. Yeah, like, cause they don't know, you're like, all right, right? Because they don't have a need yeah. at this time. They're yeah. not rejecting you, they just right. don't need your service at this time. Yeah. How did that rejection, quote unquote, make you feel? Well then, um, I felt very rejected and I felt it was personal and my coach would say to me, what are you hallucinating now, Anne? And now I know, you know, now you know, I have a lot to offer. Like, yes. I am going inside homes every single day. I help I like people make decisions yeah, yeah, yeah. every single day. Yes. You can make a really big, wrong, expensive turn. Yes. In, in a lot of different things, whether you're buying new home construction without mm -hmm. the consult of a real estate agent, doing upgrades, whatever you're doing, yes. getting a loan. Yes. Um, and it would be really unwise not to speak with someone that's in that industry every day. If I wanted to go learn how to rock climb, I wouldn't go try to do it on my own. Yeah, you're not going to cut your own hair. No. So I think if you're, again, if you're watching this right now, you, I mean, both Jeremy. Jeremy and I are sitting here like, and we're, yeah, right? It's good energy, absolutely. See, when you're newer to the business, if you come across like a new agent, it's okay. You just won't be an agent for long, Yeah. right? You have to have a swagger, a bravado, a confidence. I don't know how to say it. 61 transactions, what did your schedule look like? Schedule, definitely have a morning routine. Um, that's, that's probably a very cliche saying. It is, it, it's I mean, okay, blah, but blah, blah, blah. so for the ones that don't understand it, what does it mean? I believe if you win the morning, you win the day. And I didn't know that at the beginning, mm -hmm. but I absolutely mathematically saw that play out. Yes. That if I, if I won the morning, if I had a morning routine, I mean, I don't think a morning routine has to be specific to anybody. No. I mean, yeah. some people like to read, some people like to jump up and down, some people like to swim, but you're intentionally saying, I'm gonna win the morning. Yes. And you're intentionally saying, I'm not gonna do morning appointments and I'm not gonna be a desperate real estate agent. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna control my life, I'm gonna control my schedule. Yeah. But one thing my coach said in the beginning, which is really interesting, and I, I probably thought about this more than any, is we sat down and he said, design the business based upon what you're best at. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, new agents watching this, there's a plethora of different kinds of people that are gonna enter this space. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, we sold 61 houses our first year, but that was a very calculated plan. Like mm -hmm. we really knew how to get there. You knew who you were going after, Absolutely. what you had to say, what you had to send. And the golden thing, and I think anyone watching this, when you design your business plan mm -hmm. and you say, this is what I'm gonna do, this is how long it's gonna take me to get there, what changed my business is I knew my daily number. Mm -hmm. It completely changed my business, and so what's a daily number? I knew that a certain conversations would lead to a contract, I know a certain contract would lead to a certain closing, and mathematically would repeat to my goal. I mean, that's really simple. Mm -hmm. Totally that's basic. Just math. That's so a you, business plan. Yeah, so you drill back to your mm -hmm. daily number, and I don't care if you're one day in the business or 100 years in the business, I think that principle remains yes. of yes. knowing that number, because then it's just math. We have clients today that, I was just with Tom Tool, uh, every 17 conversations, yeah. I have a closing. And you go to the person next to me, every 63 conversations, I get a closing. So, so we know the business is math, and you can watch previous Tom Ferry shows to get the exact formula. Um, you made very calculated decisions in terms of who you were going to go after. Absolutely. Like, Dan was calling her sphere yes. and working those relationships. What did you do? When we set up the business plan, we, in order to do the amount I wanted to do, we knew we had to at least have four pillars. Mm -hmm. We'd have four income sources. Yep. So we pick expired, we, spit, we pick for sale by owners, open houses, and I didn't have a sphere, mm -hmm. which was really weird yeah. because I was in a brand new market. So yes. I was going cold turkey, which, Arguably, I think taught me a really interesting skill yeah. of being able to have some really ugly rejections. Yes. Um, but knowing. <laughs> yeah, think about no sphere, there, right? No, no yes. sphere. Yeah. But knowing that we needed at least four pillars. And so take that understanding and then compare it to someone that gets in the business and just, you know, wets their fingers and I want to sell a house. Yeah. yeah. Take that scenario versus that. Yeah. That's two worlds. Yeah. 100%. I and mean, that is like two trajectories. Okay, so, so let's talk, so you had very specific, I mean, we, we just, you demonstrated your skills. Mm -hmm. It's clear if you're gonna go expireds and for sale buyers and open houses as an example. Those are very specific skills. How did the two of you develop the skill? And then, and then I wanna talk specifically about the listing presentation as well, but skill. How did you develop these skills? Role playing. Practice and role playing. But no huge. one likes to do that. I got into real estate because I want freedom. I also recorded people. You have to role play. Yeah. You have to. I don't have to role because play. Because the problem I talk to is, them. well, you, <laughs> what happens is, is you is you practice on your customers. 
Bingo. Yeah. That's what happens is Bingo. you role play on the people that you so desperately need a transaction from, yeah. you're role playing on them. So back that's off that. That's expensive. It's the worst thing you could do. Yeah. Role play with people that are willing to say, hey, that was a terrible, you said that terrible. Yes. Because what does pipe say? 96% or 94% is how you say it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The way you move your body What's and your, your tonality energy? versus Absolutely. the word 7%. Correct. So drilling that back down, that's a business plan. So, and that's a key piece of it. So how much, starting in the beginning, how much did you, like they can download scripts from my site, from a myriad of, you just go to Google and type in real estate scripts. Yeah, yeah. Something will show Absolutely. up, I don't care. Um, how much time did you spend practicing? How much time did you spend practicing in the beginning and, and maybe today? I didn't spend as much time as I should have in the mm -hmm. beginning, and I still don't, if I'm gonna mm -hmm. be 100% yeah. honest, and just listening to him. Mm -hmm. and, and I wasn't as strategic, I had little kids, I didn't have any money, I mean, there was a lot of other barriers, but, yeah. um, but I could have sold a lot more, and I still could sell a lot more if yes. I spent more time on that. Yes. And it's actually, it's like, it is totally my cross to bear, I'll be yeah, just 100% yeah. honest. Yeah. But I do listen when I hear people, where I'm like, ah, it's like mm -hmm. a verbal ninja move, you know, then I record it and I listen to it. I'm just yes. somebody that, if I have an outline, Yep. You know, you have to have your objections and then your 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 train of thought basically that's going to split off of that. Mm -hmm. So if it's this objection, this objection, this objection, or this objection, how am I going to handle it based on the personality in front of me? Bingo. So um, that sounds pretty calculated. Well, it is, but it I'm is. not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm like, I'm like 10% in, honestly. Like, I, I have to, I, I'm just, I'm up in my game this year. Okay, th this was made public on the Tom <laughs> Ferry Show, so here we go. Hey, baby. Um, so, role playing, and I love, and listen, we, li we live in a world today where the vast majority of people are going to relate to what you just said, mm -hmm. and they're going to look at Jeremy and go, ah, ha, 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 <laughs> right? But, but here's the thing, ready? So, they both got there. They both got there. One got there in year one, one got there in year five. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And skills matter, right? What you say matters, confidence matters. You have so much natural bravado and charisma and likability. Thank you. Right? He and I just lack that, so you win, you're gonna win that game, <laughs> right? We, we have to work on this San stuff. Diego now, right? I uh, think it's working. Yeah, I think they would both like to switch to average sales. Well, yeah. maybe you don't wanna switch to his sales price. <laughs> I think it's working. Talk about the listing presentation, because because the vast majority of agents, they're told this myth, let buyers finance your listing learning curve. And they think they can go out with buyers and not have any skills. And most of them think taking a listing is kind of scary. Mm -hmm. What would be some hacks or tricks or tips that you would recommend to our listeners for them to up their listing presentation, whether it's what shows up before they get there, what they do while they're there, what they leave behind. What have you found, because let's assume they all have one, but what are some things that you've done that have made it special and unique so you win more? Well, once you have, I mean, it's hard when you're first starting, but once you have listings, if you're doing your job right, then you pull pe some some personality types, really, mm -hmm. like data. So yes. I pull my list to sell ratios, I pull my cancellations and expireds compared to other people, mm -hmm. and, and that's really all that's gonna speak to one personality type. So, mm -hmm. so I have, as, you know, one of the coaches I've had would say you have your like magic bag of things that you pull Fe out for whatever Felix you need. Felix the cat. Yeah. Remember Felix yeah. the cat. I mean, some of you have to Google that, like Felix. right? The, yeah, yeah, the bag of tricks. The bag of tricks. So for the high analytical, you're bringing data. Yes. Um, yeah, it's all about knowing the person sitting in front of you and mm -hmm. what kinds of questions they're asking mm -hmm. and what their personality type is and trying to pre present in a matter in a manner that is reflective of those eye eyeballs, mm -hmm. which is really hard when you first start. Yeah. Um, so I think it's mostly about asking the right questions. Mm -hmm. that, that's how I got off off to a good start, I yeah. think, is I asked a lot of questions, and then I would repeat their answers. So, so Mr. Seller, Mr. Mr. Ferry, mm -hmm. you've mentioned that you want to, you know, be oh, gone, and she uh, goes right <laughs> into the role play. I love it. Uh, you mentioned that you want to sell your home for the most amount of money and yep. the shortest amount of time yes. without any hassles, and you know, I want to give you all three of those. But if you had to prioritize them, you know, how, how might you do that? I'd deal with some hassle if I got the most amount of money. Okay, and that tells you right away, like, mm -hmm. how you're going to prioritize what you're gonna give back to them. Yes, yeah. and alter maybe pricing, yes. pricing options, yes. right? Yeah. Are we gonna create a bidding more? Are we gonna put it at the highest possible price and hope and pray? Right. So, so I like that personality types is super big. Is there anything else that you show or deliver uh, at an appointment that you, know, that you just think, oh, that's what's getting them right now? And I don't mean getting them in a back, you know, like that's yeah. the thing that gets people excited, right? Think Jeremy, you, you go and then come back. Okay. What well, about yourself? Can we talk Hacks. about the failure ratio in, in real estate? Sure, <laughs> please. Is that a bad thing to talk about in Tom Ferry? So. Uh, I talk about it all the time. So yes. as a new agent, what did they say? 87% fail yep. in the first yep. five years. Yep. And for me, I believe the reason for that, what I saw, mm -hmm. was real estate agents 
think they're going to go show houses and they're nice cars, mm -hmm. but they forget that they're salespeople. Yes. And if you're not a salesperson and don't hone your skills and actually have a sales process, mm -hmm. not a, I don't want to talk about cars, but you can't be cheesy, mm -hmm. but yeah. you are a salesperson. Yes. You have to sell a yes. product, whether you're selling you, you're selling your past sales, you're selling your family, what you've done in the community, you're selling. And so I knew that going in, um, in the business. And so how I did it is I found a listing presentation that I liked from an agent in Texas, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I had my coach call the agent and say, how much money would I have to pay you to give me the Adobe PDF <laughs> yes. version? Yes. And he said, he just emailed it to me. There you yeah. go. And I clicked and changed my logo, put my pictures in, and three days later, I had a listing presentation. But it, We call that R&D. R&D. R &D. <laughs> that <laughs> and duplicate. But it didn't cost me a dime. Yes. But the cool thing was, is I actually had a now a 24-page document, and I looked pretty swag. Yes. I, mean, yeah. I had not sold a house. Yeah. I had not sold a single house, yeah. but we were going in and saying, hey, myself, my team, and my brokerage in my city, because I, I had no past sales. I yeah. had to add my brokerage into yep. the mix. We have sold 77 homes. Key in. distinction for a brand new agent. Yeah. I mean, if you have no past sales, you, you, you have to tell the truth, yeah. but you can bring your brokerage in and say, hey, we are the highest producing team brokerage in the area. We had 77 closings in March. Mm -hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Sella, how does that make you feel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're really doing great things in your community. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is how we get those results. Yep. Mm -hmm. And when you list your home with me, I'm going to put the power of this team to work for you. Absolutely. But if you don't have a listing presentation, you haven't practiced, if you haven't role played yeah. and, and you have a little swagger, you're selling yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you don't learn how to sell yourself, 87% catch you. Oh yeah. That's a huge statistic. It's a big number. It's 90% yep. failure rate in all small businesses after 10 years. Correct. So 87% in real estate is not a shocker, right. especially considering most people go in saying, well, I just like people in houses, mm -hmm. right? Versus, wait a minute, this is, a, this is the person's most expensive asset. Absolutely. I have a fiduciary responsibility to be really good, uh, the way you were saying, like right. there's, there's a million mistakes you can make along the way and I wanna, I wanna protect you. Yeah. You're a friend, I wanna take care of you. Yeah. So any other hacks on listing presentation uh, I don't know that it's like a like a great catchy hack but I think us. what I think what you said um, really matters in terms of like you saw something you liked and you knew you could sell yes. that yep. and so you went to get that so yeah. it doesn't really matter yeah. I don't think it, it's just having the confidence behind it my sales manager and my coach was said you're an information broker you need to know your market better than anyone else Bingo. and when you have that you're not as worried well the first couple times you are until you're like wait I really know this and I know it better than like half the agents I'm talking to yes and confidence so just goes and through. so yes. and then you and then you have passion like you can yeah. really mess up here like you need me yes. and it you don't feel that until you feel it right yeah. and so the only way to get that is to go and see a ton of property and have mm -hmm. a lot of conversations and pick whatever you're gonna like mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter what it is, no, I just that is just as long as so you got true. passion behind it yep. right yep Absolutely. that is I, I've seen that a thousand times with agents they're like you know what it is right now staging yeah oh my god <laughs> I've got this and you see them yeah, light and up and I'm like and I'm like staging's been around for 20 years right. like but they just found a stager <gasps> and they sold it yeah yeah, I have this video app yeah. that absolutely makes your home look and people just connect to it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so you got to find something your you're passionate about selling. Yeah. And if your presentation doesn't get you fired up, yeah. it's not going to get the clients fired up. Right. Right. Should be yeah. a tweet. Right. Exactly. We need to tweet that. Yeah. All right. It's looking at the social media queen. Right. All right. So any closing thoughts? Um, you know, my hope is that a hundred thousand new agents watch us in the next you know 35, 40 days. It's an so awesome industry. It, it, there are so many people watching this. So. What's the, like just one sort of closing thought about what they can do, some motivation, mindset, whatever you want to share, wish them well. Uh, if he can do it, I can do it. I just yeah. didn't, I just didn't decide to do it the right way, but right. Like, I mean, I'm still here and I have an opportunity to go awesome. for next year yeah. and uh, if they can do it, you can do it. That really is all it is. You have to have a big why. I had a huge why. I had yeah. a huge why, speak, you know, speak to that. Well, when you don't have any money and you have to go be your own miracle for your family, you just do period. Yeah. And, um, and you need something, you need a reason why you're doing this and why you're going to go hustle because it is relentless and it does break you down. Unbelievably, yeah. yes. you have to be tough yeah. and resilient. You got bounce back up really fast and you have to have mm -hmm. people around you like you um, that will help you and that yeah. you're you know pouring into your mind every single mm -hmm. day and yeah. and I, I would also say fight for your culture that was a big thing my coach was really it took me a while to see that until I let some 
some people off of the team that didn't yeah. belong. And then I really saw like, oh, wow, this can really happen. Yes. It's not just special for them. They yes. just fought for their culture. Yes. And that's kind of further down the line. But fight for your own culture first and then yeah, the people yeah. you bring into your universe. Yeah, and yeah. fight for your family. Right? Yes, exactly. So closing thoughts? I think a parting thought I would have is what a terrible thing would, would it would be, in my opinion, to have a listing presentation, to put all this energy into it, create a business plan, mm -hmm. and then miss, I think, the most important step and that's to be extremely genuine. Yeah. You have to be so genuine with yep. people. If you don't care about people and don't have commission breath, if you're a new mm -hmm. agent, yeah. Yeah. just put it aside. If you can be genuine, all of the other stuff you have comes alive. Your listening mm -hmm. presentation comes alive, yeah. who you are, what yeah. you're doing. If you care about them truly from the heart, you'll win. Can't say any better than that. You guys were amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Remember always your strategy matters and now more than ever your passion rules. And if you know someone that is less than five years in the business, forward this to them immediately and they will know that you love them. All right, see you guys soon. Hey, it's Coach Tom Ferry. Have you been considering hiring a coach? If so, click the link below and check out what we do.